Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today we will talk about exercising. When we exercise, we play sports or we kick a ball or we run, right? So what do we have to do to have safe exercising where we don't get hurt and we can be healthy to always exercise the next day? So we have here dynamic stretching. Stretching is when we um, get ready or warm up before we do an exercise, right? I'm stretching my muscles here. I'm stretching my arm. So you should always stretch when before playing an energetic sport. So before, not after, but before you uh, stretch and exercise. Uh, I'm sorry, you stretch your body and after you stretch, you exercise, right? This includes basketball and soccer. Preparation, getting ready, right, is the, red, is the key, is what's important to avoiding a major sports injury. Injury is when you get hurt, right? Avoiding it means you don't want to get hurt, right? So avoiding means you're sort of dodging away from it. So if this is something that is hurting you, then you want to avoid it, right? Stretching often feels like a drag. So stretching is very boring. You have to count one, two, three. It's not fun, a drag. But researchers or scientists have discovered, uh, they have found a, an exciting way to warm up called dynamic stretching, right? So they made stretching fun. Dynamic stretching focuses on moving muscles and joints quickly to increase flexibility, the flexibility with can you bend, power, and range of motion. Can you move from here all the way to over there, right? Range of motion. For example, soccer or basketball players will kick or make jumping motions to relax their muscles. Um, you know, of course, soccer's, you know, soccer players, they use their feet, so before, right, before they play, they stretch or they warm up Right, using kicking and soccer, uh, basketball players, they have to jump a lot, so they will make jumping motions or moving by jumping. Dynamic stretching not only prepares the body, it makes your body get ready, right? So before you exercise, you have to get ready, but it also relaxes the mind for an upcoming competition like the Olympics. So two things, before you exercise, you have to stretch, right? You have to get ready. And this getting ready, it helps you, right? It helps you avoid injury, right? You get away from being hurt, and it also relaxes your mind, right? Especially if you're in a contest. If you have a contest, you feel very nervous, right? But after you stretch, you'll feel very calm and relaxed. So, we have three key questions here. A, you should stretch blank you play an energetic sport, right? So energetic sport like basketball or soccer, right? Do we stretch after we play? So after we play, you're very tired and do you stretch then? Or do you play before? Before means not now, not after, not later, but before, right? In the past. B, preparation is the key to blank, a major sports injury. So again, injury means when you're hurt. Like my finger here, right? I have an injury, right? But if you don't want to be injured, you have to get away from it, right? You have to sort of dodge it away. So we say it is avoiding. When we are avoiding something, that means we don't want to meet it. We want to go away from it. So if this is an injury coming at me, I want to go away from it. I want to avoid it. C, dynamic stretching focuses on moving muscles, like over here, and joints, like over here. Not slowly. Can you think of a word that is the opposite of slowly? So if I'm slow, I'm moving like this. But the opposite would be to move quickly, right? So the opposite of moving slowly would be quickly. They want to move your muscles quickly and your joints quickly so that it's more fun and it's actually better for you. Okay?
A, uh, we have three grammar questions here. A, soccer players will blank to relax their muscles. This word right here, will, is telling you this question is about the future, right? They will do something later in the bide, right? So when we use this verb here, we always use the normal form of the verb. We don't change it with ing or s or ed, right? We only keep the regular original form. For example, I will eat, right? I will play, I will sleep. We never, 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 never say will sleeping, no. Will eating, no, no. And will played, no. We just keep it the regular form. Will eat, will play, will sleep, will talk, will listen. B, basketball players, again, will, right? Make, it's, the, it's not will making or will made, it's just will make blank motions to relax their muscles. So this is check, right? This is the regular verb, will kick, will make, right? That's okay. But over here, we're not looking for an action. We don't want to do an action because we already have the action here, right? This is the main verb that we want to do. So what we want here is an adjective. We want a 형용사 or 꾸미는 말 for this word here, motion. Motion means when you're moving like this, right? Do we have slow motion or do we have fast motion like this? What kind of motion? It is jumping motion like this. So we say jumping, jump and jumps, right? These are verbs, these are actions, these are 동사's, right? These are 행동's, we don't want that. We want a 형용사 for this word here, motion, a jumping motion. C, dynamic stretching also blank the mind, right? So dynamic stretching here, um, it's the subject, right? It's a noun, it's a single action, it's one thing, right? Dynamic stretching is one thing. So when we have one thing, we want to put the S on the verb, right? Relaxes. So we can say one dog eats with the S, right? One cat sleeps with the S, right? We never say one dog eat. Where's the S? We have to put the S. One dog sleeps. One dog plays, right? He walks. My mother talks. We have to put the S when we are talking about one subject, all right? So next time, before you exercise, please remember to do some stretching to get your body ready, all right? Thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. My name is Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.